Welcome back to the Tweaking Tools series. This is episode 10, and today we're testing one of the most debated features in the Windows GPU stack, Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, or HAGS. You've seen it in the Graphics Settings menu, a little toggle that promises reduced latency and improved performance. But what does it actually do? And more importantly, does it really help? In this video, we're going deep. We'll break down how HAGS interacts with flip model presentation, low latency mode, and even DirectX 12 and Vulkan cues, so you can actually make the right decision for your setup. Everything here is safe, fully reversible, and verified across NVIDIA and AMD drivers. Let's get started. Step 1. Understand how GPU scheduling actually works. Before you touch any settings, it helps to understand what we're fixing. Normally, Windows uses the CPU to schedule GPU tasks. Your game sends draw calls, Windows queues them, CPU batches them, GPU executes them. This introduces one extra frame of latency since the CPU has to manage the queue. With HAGS on, the GPU handles its own scheduling directly. It processes frames as soon as they arrive, skipping the CPU intermediary. That's why it can reduce latency, especially in CPU-limited titles. But there's a catch. On some setups, HAGS introduces micro-stutter or frame pacing instability because the GPU's internal queue management can conflict with older APIs like DX11 or certain driver settings like Low Latency Mode Ultra. That's what we'll fix and test today. Tuning your system so HAGS actually helps, not hurts. Step 2. Clean Driver and Control Panel Prep Before changing any latency or scheduling settings, it's important to start with a clean, stable GPU configuration. Leftover shader cache files, driver profiles, or outdated queue settings can cause inconsistent frame timing or unexpected behavior once we enable advanced features later, like HAGS or low latency mode. We'll quickly clear those out and reset the NVIDIA control panel to a neutral baseline. Quick cleanup commands. Open Command Prompt, Admin, press Start, type CMD, right-click it, and choose Run as Administrator. Paste each of these commands one by one and press Enter. Once complete, restart your PC. This fully clears out old DirectX and OpenGL shader caches and refreshes the NVIDIA Display Container service, which manages your control panel and driver settings in the background. NVIDIA Control Panel Setup After rebooting, open NVIDIA Control Panel, Manage 3D Settings, Global Settings, and double-check the following options. Low Latency Mode, Off, we'll fine-tune this later. Power Management Mode, Prefer Maximum Performance. Vertical Sync, Off. Threaded Optimization, On. Shader Cache, On or Unlimited. Click Apply to save these settings. These adjustments ensure your GPU driver is running in a predictable, high-performance baseline state. Having everything clean and consistent now prevents conflicts when you later toggle Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, or HAGS, or experiment with latency reduction settings. Step 3. Enable or disable HAGS via Registry with Revert option. Now we'll control HAGS directly through the registry. This method is more reliable than the Windows Settings app and works even if the UI toggle bugs out. Open Command Prompt Admin and run one of these. Enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Disable HAGS. Let Windows decide. Restart your PC each time you change it. Note. 
2 equals force enable. 1 equals force disable. Delete equals default. Pro tip. If you test both modes, use Cap Frame X or Frame View to compare input latency and frame time consistency instead of raw FPS. Step 4. Tune Flip Model and Low Latency Mode. Here's where most people go wrong. HAGS, or Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, interacts directly with Flip Model Presentation and Low Latency Mode in the NVIDIA driver. If those settings don't line up properly, you'll almost always notice micro stutters, frame pacing issues, or even full frame drops, especially in fast paced titles. We're going to fix that by using NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which gives you access to hidden driver parameters. Steps Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector and make sure you're using the latest OBM U2K build. Load the Global Driver Profile, Base Profile. This ensures changes apply system-wide. Now scroll to the following options and set them as shown. Frame Rate Limiter Mode to Limiter V3, Off. Maximum Pre-Rendered Frames to 1. Low Latency Mode to Ultra, only when HAGS is enabled. Vertical Sync Tear Control to Adaptive. After you've made these changes, click Apply Changes at the top right. If you're on an AMD GPU, you can achieve a similar effect by enabling Radeon Anti-Lag or adjusting Radeon Chill and Frame Pacing in the Radeon Software Panel. Make sure to disable any third-party frame limiters to avoid conflicts. Why it matters. The flip model allows the GPU to present frames directly to the front buffer effectively bypassing the Desktop Window Manager layer, WDM. When this is combined with HAGS and Low Latency Ultra, the total frame pipeline, CPU to GPU to display, is reduced to its absolute minimum. The result is lower input delay, smoother frame delivery, and more consistent frame times, especially noticeable in competitive or high refresh gaming scenarios. Step 5. Registry Reinforcement, Flip Q plus Timeout Tweaks. Now let's make sure Windows itself doesn't interfere. Run the following safe commands to reduce Flip Q delay and GPU timeout resets. Reduce Flip Q buffer. Extend GPU timeout to prevent driver resets under load. These settings reduce how long Windows waits before flipping to the next frame prevent unnecessary driver resets when the GPU is still working on a frame. Revert, restart to apply. So, what did we actually do? You've just fine-tuned the entire GPU scheduling path, cleaned and reset shader caches, controlled HAGS through the registry, aligned flip model and low latency behavior, balanced Windows frame queue and TDR timers, this isn't about chasing another 5 FPS. It's about stability, response, and smoothness. When HAGS is tuned correctly, your GPU queue stays consistently full, frame time stabilize, and mouse input feels crisp instead of spongy. If you've tested this and your frame time graph looks flatter than before, you nailed it. Next episode, we'll connect this with DirectX shader compilation and cache management, so your system can preload frames faster with zero hitches mid-game. As always, test safely, make restore points, and share your before-after results. That's how we keep improving these guides.